In investments, we frequently average a time series of rates of return on an asset or a portfolio, or we compute the average growth rate of a financial variable, such as earnings or sales. So when we are measuring returns over time, should we use arithmetic mean return or should we use the geometric mean return? The formula for arithmetic mean return is to sum all the returns and we divide by n the number of observations. For geometric mean return, we will take 1 plus the return of every period and then we multiply it to the same term for n periods and then the whole product will be raised to the power of 1 over n minus 1. So let's take an example where we have a hypothetical investment where we hold the investment for two years. The initial cost of the investment is $80 and after one year, the price drops to $50. And one year later, the price goes back up to $80. Before we use the arithmetic or geometric mean return, let's calculate the return for each year. The return for the first year will be the change in price, which is 50 minus $80 we take ending price minus beginning price, divide by the beginning price, and multiply that by 100%. That gives us a return of negative 37.5%. Now for the following year, the return will be $80 minus $50, divide by $50 times 100%, and that gives us a return of 60%. Now using the two formulas, we will calculate the mean returns. For arithmetic mean return, we will take the sum of the two returns and then we'll divide by 2. So if I average out these two returns, I will get 22.5%. That's telling us that on the average, the investment is generating a return of 22.5% per year. If we are using the geometric mean return, I will take 1 plus the first year's return, multiply by 1 plus the second year's return, and then the whole product will be to the power of 1 over 2 because there is a period of 2 years here, minus 1. So I will take 1 plus negative 37.5% or negative 0.375, multiply by 1 plus 0.6 or 60%, and then raise it to the power of 1 over 2 minus 1. So the product of these two will be equals to 1, and 1 to the power of 1 over 2 is also 1. So 1 minus 1, that will be 0%. So we seem to be getting two different results here. One is 22.5% and the other is 0%. So which is the correct one? If we were to use the same formula earlier to calculate the return from start to end, the return over that two years would be the ending price, which is 80 minus the beginning price 80, divide by the beginning price 80 times 100%, and that would be 0%. So that's telling us that over that two years, we are actually making zero, nothing. The result here coincides with the result of the geometric mean return. In fact, when we are measuring returns over time, we always use geometric mean return. Now, with its focus on the profitability of an investment on a multi-period horizon, like in this case, the geometric mean is of key interest to investors. The arithmetic mean return, which focuses on average single period performance, is also of interest to investors. So both arithmetic and geometric means have a role to play in investment management, and both are also often reported for return series.